Hey, it's Junkman for VintageRock.com, and again, uh, NAM 2018. I'm getting poked and prodded by my old buddy over here. Um, you guys see, know him as uh, the current drummer with uh, with Alice Cooper. It's my old friend, Glenn Sobel. How you doing, brother? What's up, Jordan, buddy? How you doing? We're uh, we're rocking, man. Having a good time. I mean, you know, God, it, it seems to we're be... We're back. I know. Damn, I don't believe it. I know. Every year I see you, but that's the only time I get to see you outside of maybe catching a show, because you're all over the world with Alice Cooper, man. It, it was busy. Last year was crazy busy. We did over 100 shows. Alice is a machine, and we got to keep up. Yep. But it was great. It was a great year. And he came out with a great record, too. It was in my top 10 on the other website that I work for, too. So I just, you know, it was just, it was just a lot of new material. And you had this great tour with Deep Purple. And you, yeah. you guys have been doing all these all one-off shows that I see in, in uh, like, Hawaii and stuff like that. Right, right. You played with Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. It's yeah. like, it's like, wow. That was the second time she's joined us. It's, it's a benefit gig that we've done seven years in a row now in Maui. A New Year's benefit gig, Alice Cooper's manager puts it on, and it's this surreal thing. Like, you know, there's Oprah Winfrey watching and dancing and rocking out, and we're playing with Linda Carter, and then there's always, it's always Steven Tyler and right. Weird Al, the Doobie Brothers guys, Pat Simmons, Michael McDonald, they all live there. Yeah. Linda doesn't live there, but the other guys do, and we had Dave Draymond from Disturbed also this time, and it's just like this star studded evening, and it's one of those things, it's like a weird dream almost. Uh -huh. But it, it's a great time. We rehearse like the day before and it's for a good cause. Yeah. And so with the Alice Cooper camp, there are a lot of cool benefit gigs where we become like the house band, you know? He does a lot, yeah. man. So. Yeah, it it's, keeps you on your toes and I love doing that. And yeah, it's a good cause. Well, another good cause is, dude, look at these really cool drum cases you got from Humes and Berg, they're Beautiful awesome. Cases. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, some of these cases, um, they had one that was like modeled after a color of kit that I have. They, it's around here somewhere. I don't know where with all the piles of stuff, but Hubensburg is, you know, it's the best case company, the biggest, the best, and everybody seems to use them. They don't, they don't break. Nothing. Is there something about the material that, that's different than where you would look at it and you say, wow, those are plastic, but is it a certain? Well, the first problem usually with cases is the straps can break or the, the things that lock but I've never had a problem. These things have been all over the world, and I don't think one has ever had to be replaced because something broke or cracked. They could be dropped. The drum is protected inside. It's all nice and cushioned, right. you know? Right. So you trust them. Yeah. With that monstrous drum kit that you got, too, that really cool, I don't know whether you guys have ever seen Glenn's kit. If you've seen Alice Cooper in the last couple of years, yes, you have, but he's got this very cool drum kit. And if you say that's what you got to have to protect it, <laughs> then that's the best stuff, so. Definitely. It is, yeah. I'm proud of that kit, and yeah, it, it's never had a problem. The the locks, the memory locks, the rack, the drums, it's it's all good. When you're touring, you gotta trust in your gear, right? A lot more touring for 2018. Yeah, we're getting ready. We're gonna be out all of March, so that'll be mostly East Coast in the states. Yeah, a lot more coming. Well, again, like I said, that record that he came out with, uh, Paranormal, was just, it was an awesome record. It just, all of a sudden, I listened to this thing and every single song on it I loved, man. It was just, it was great. So, so we've, we've done like one track live. When you play with a classic rock artist, of course you gotta play the songs that, right. you know, you can't leave the building until you play Schools Out and Nor yeah. Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. So we're doing like one off the new record, but it's hard to choose. Uh, Alice has such an amazing back catalog. You gotta throw in the gems and the unexpected things for the hardcore fans, but you gotta... And chop his head off every night. Of course, well, yeah, his wife gets to do that. She's in the show, she gets to kill her husband every night. That's why they have such a great marriage. She gets to kill him on stage as you know, the nurse. Something I always wanted to ask you about, you were like the king of backspinning on the drumsticks. I don't know, have you ever seen Glenn play? He just does this thing where he's playing back backspinning on his drumsticks. Did you learn all that like in drum corps? Yeah, well, high school marching band. We we had instructors that were from drum corps and college marching bands. So I picked it up from one of those guys. And you say backwards. I didn't realize I was doing it backwards until years later somebody said, oh, you do that backwards. I said, I do? I can't do it forward. True back spinning, yeah. Yeah, um, but if it works, it works. Hey, you're a master, man. Oh, well, thanks. It, the Alice gig, it's cool. If I was playing with like Celine Dion, I wouldn't be doing that. You, you like that guy, that video of the guy at the wedding, you know, that's like overplaying like the whole wedding band and stuff like that. Yeah, that you ever is, seen that guy? Of he's course, like, he's yeah. all over the place, right? Yeah. 
yeah. people. Yeah. Well, you're talking about the the guy in the Philippines. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful when you whip out certain things on the gig. It's got to be in the appropriate place. Now, does the boss ever tell you, just like, hey, man, you know, like I said, you got a little too much spotlight going on over here? No, no. He is so cool with getting his band showcased. Yeah. I mean, for the amount of time we play the show, you count the actual number of minutes he's off stage, it's a lot. Where he's doing costume changes and taking a break, you know, we're up there without him for maybe 10 minutes out of a 90-minute set. Yeah. It's awesome. Now, who else are you here to see at NAMA in terms of endorsements and things? I'm going to say hi to all the people. DW Drums and uh, Sabian Cymbals, Regal Tip Sticks, Evans Drumheads, Porter and Davies, everybody. Yeah. This is the place. You're going to have some time for teaching? Well, not this weekend. No, cl- no I'm talking about like in, in the upcoming future. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's some clinics getting booked. I think I got one in uh, at the Lexington Drum Center in late March when we passed through town there. Working on some clinics for March. And uh, and the, the one thing, my objective this weekend, don't lose the voice, don't get Nam Thrax. Well, that's why we're doing doing the high sign instead of like, Right, you or know, it should be all yeah, this. All the, all the fist yeah. bumps, you know? That's what it should be. There should be like an official Nam handshake. Well, if you see me, I have like an entire medicine cabinet in my backpack. Yeah, here, right. So. You got to have the hand sanitizer, the Everything. vitamin C. Everything. Dude. Yeah, it's so. it, it happens like too often. Everyone gets sick. I got things to do, man. I don't have time to get sick. Where can people find out more information? Is it glensobel.com? How did you guess? Just kind of had that <laughs> thought in my head, dude. So. Yeah, and the social media, everybody's findable these days. If you're not, it's like you don't exist. You got to have the online presence. So, yeah, that's it. Dude, it's always good to see you, my friend. A lot of years. <laughs> Two drummers here. Two yep. drum dudes. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. Smack in the tubs, dude. It's what we do. So. That's right. Again, it's uh, Junkman from VintageRock.com and Glenn Sobel here at NAMM 2018. Thanks, dude.